Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to do an iMovie trailer. Um, it's it actually extremely easy to do um, and pretty user friendly. So let's go ahead and go into iMovie and all you need to do is go up to File, into New Project. And you'll see at the bottom of your project theme options are the movie trailers. And they all have a specific name to them because they all have a certain layout. They, the layout, timing, everything is all done for you and you just kind of throw in the clips. Um, what's kind of cool is you can click on them and you'll see over here you get a preview. And the preview will show you the duration of the movie. It's going to show you the cast members and it's also going to show you um, what takes place, the transitions. I'm just going to pause it. The transitions, things like that. So you can click on all the different ones and see what you you know want for kind of your theme depending on what type of movie you're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the holiday and I'm going to click create. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to be given my storyboard and outline. I go through the outline and all I have to do is I have to fill in everything and they just ask simple questions like the movie name, the release date, um, the release year, the star of the movie, studio name, etc. So you can basically fill in, you know, just click on here and fill in whatever you want to. And you can see that you'll see on the screen, if I just fill in, you know, any name, you can see that it all of a sudden will change to the Smith family that I filled in. Um, and if you want to go through here, you can see that as you click around, you see what's actually happening at that time in the movie. So fill in all the information on the outline. Then you go to your storyboard, and your storyboard is basically showing you how, what's actually taking place in the movie. And what's nice about this is even if you filled something in on the outline, you can still go in and change it in the storyboard just by clicking in the text areas. So if you filled something in and you didn't like what you had, you can easily just click there and change it. So what you'll do is you can see the clips and it shows you how long that clip is going to be and it says it's 2.4 seconds. And as I just kind of move the play um, cursor along here, you can see that it shows me what's taking place. So it says that I should have a landscape shot in this area. I can really put in whatever I want to. Now, what you want to do is you go from your old movies and you just need to pick clips. So, you know, I might go to, let's say my Oreo video that I did. And for some reason I want to make a trailer about eating Oreos. So I can just click, um, you can either click right on the clip itself and it'll pull in the right amount of time for you. Or if I click somewhere else and I click back here, I can actually, you know, select the exact clips that I want and then drag them down and then it'll change the timing for you as far as how much you should have on there. Um, if you put too long a clip in there, it's going to go really fast. So you do want to pay attention when you're actually grabbing the clips as far as how much you are grabbing so that it matches what the playlist says down here. So then all you're going to do is you're going to fill in all of these clips. You can see there's a lot, obviously, for this trailer. You would go in and change any titles you want to. And what's nice is you're going through it. You can kind of, you know, put your mouse wherever and it's going to play your movie for you up at the top so you can see exactly what you are making. Um, it's, like I said, it's really friendly to use. I like to work in storyboard mode. Storyboard mode, sorry about that. Um, but there's also shot list, which shot list is just going to tell you all the shots you need. It tells you, for example, for this one, you need nine action clips, two group clips, one landscape clip, and five close up clips, 10 medium clips, and four wide clips. Obviously, you need a lot for this trailer. It's a pretty long trailer. Um, so you can work in either mode. Like I said, I like to work in storyboard because that goes in the exact order that your actual video is going to go. Then once you're done with it, just upload it to your YouTube channel. Go ahead and go up to share, go to YouTube, put it onto your YouTube channel, and you're done. You've done your own little movie trailer coming soon to a theater near you. See you later.